So today we are having a look at Carrier Command 2. This is something that I've been wanting to pick up for a while. It is definitely right up my alley and I've really been enjoying it so far. But uh, I'm just going to jump straight in here and then I'll talk about what I want to do with this series. So we're just sort of turning on the main power. This will start up all the screens and we'll go ahead and deploy the carrier. So this is kind of like a immersive strategy game where everything's represented in the world and you're basically doing everything from the bridge of this carrier deck. Um, but let's have a look here. So basically we have the enemy carrier coming from that side and it'll take some time for him to make his way over here like the AI ship. And uh, then we can start taking islands to start basically generating some credits and also establishing some supply lines. Now, uh, we have a couple of options here. First thing is, I'm probably going to start with the One Shield Islands because they're the least well defended. And we can get different things here. I, I want to go over to this one because that has a uh, vehicle chassis, uh, chassis, which is pretty important. So uh, let's just have a look here. So first thing I'm actually going to do, we'll look at the vehicle loadout. And um, these auto cannons aren't particularly useful. I, I don't know if it's just in this version of the game. I haven't played it much before, but strafing doesn't seem to be particularly effective. It's better to use missiles, so I'm just going to outfit this with additional fuel tanks, and it's going to go ahead and just fuel that up all the way. Uh, and then A1 is basically going to be our reconnaissance aircraft that we're going to use. So, um, sorry, now I've kind of lost track of which island I'm going to be going to. So we are, we currently at, so we're over here and sort of straight to the north east from where we are, um, more or less. So we want to be over there and basically what we're going to do is just give this one orders to move over here, reasonably close I think, like over there at an altitude of about a thousand. Actually this is just a one shield island, we don't have to fly particularly high. Uh, because I don't think we're going to be dealing with anything that will be capable of shooting this down, even at this height. Um, so this will just make it easier for us to do a little bit of reconnaissance um, before we even get to the island. And while that is busy sort of making its way up the elevator, we'll start the engines and also start making our way towards that island. Um, I think we're already roughly pointed in that direction. But... Uh, Something like that. We can just flip the switch. That'll maintain the heading. Um, is the plane almost... Uh, we're still waiting for that albatross to make its way up onto the deck. Um, oh, here it comes. So I'm not sure... It should probably be fine to let this take off even while we're on the go, but I've had bad experiences trying this in the past, so especially as we're making our way into the sort of rougher waters here. So let's just slow down for a couple of seconds here and we'll watch this take off. So I do love this sort of thing where, like I said, everything's represented in, in the world, everything's real time. Uh, so you can actually watch vehicles taking off. Is it going to make it? Will it make it over that wave? I really hope so. Yeah, it should be fine. It's not, not too bad. Okay, so we're going to continue making our way towards that island. Uh, we should probably zoom this out just a bit, just like that. And uh, how will we set up these other ones? It's always good to have a display just to see how deep the water is, because that also helps you get a sense of how close you are to a given island. That should be fine. And then this one, we'll just look at the currents as well. Um, it's useful. This can just be... I'm not sure what this is actually currently on. Oh, it's just to show us rainfall, I guess. We can keep it on this display. I think that's fine. Um, now, while we're making our way over there, uh, let's have a look at the logistics. Because a couple of things... So, actually, I want to go right down to the bottom and make sure that we get as much fuel as we can. Also want to get all of the chassis that is already available. So this is at our warehouse currently. I'm just going to put in some orders for these. Virus modules, yeah, we'll need as much as we can carry. 
as well. Utilities, we, we can get some of these later on. It's not crucial right now. Flare launcher, I don't use so much. Um, yeah, I do want the turrets because we'll be mounting those on new vehicles as they come in. Uh, what else? Torpedoes. Uh, we probably have enough for now. I mean, eventually I do want to get these, so I'm going to put in... Uh, let's just put in all of them. Um, and IR missiles. These are super useful as well. Uh, maybe we'll do about 50 for now and we'll get the rest later. I I'm not even sure if all of this will fit onto one barge. Probably not. Um, actually, AA missiles. These are useful as well. Um, I should do for now. Uh, yeah. So now what we need to do is basically just get a barge to pick up that order for us. So if we zoom in here, we can just ask this to make a stop at the warehouse and from there bring it to the ship. So it's going to start loading and once it's fully loaded, it will start making its way to the carrier. Um, right, so I think that the plane would have arrived already. So we can just have a look here. Yeah, it's basically entering this pattern that we've created for it. And now this is something that took me an embarrassing amount of time to realize, but you can actually fire the ship's weapons from the planes as well, or use it to guide it. Um, so this is the Albatross. You can see the fuel tanks there. We have missiles. We're probably not going to use them right now. What I want to use this for is for reconnaissance and potentially for firing missiles from the ship. Um, now what I'm doing right now is actually, well, it's pretty easy because these are standing out against the, the snow on this island, sort of the gray against the white. But um, on most islands, if it's dark, if you do this at night, all of the vehicles have lights and that makes it really easy to identify them. Um, we're just going to go ahead because as soon as you've tagged them, and this works the same, it works in a lot of these games where you sort of have to take over islands or bases or whatever uh, once you've tagged them you always have them on the map you may not have the specific location you do need to have still vision established to know the specific location but if you just leave one of these like planes up here uh, it should be fine so i'm sure there's more but this is already a good start and generally speaking so what you'll see here is the amount of units they have outnumbers what we currently have. So you do probably want to do a little bit of cleaning up before you send in your land units. Um, we'll have the advantage of having them all in a group, whereas they have them all scattered out of the island. But once you start sort of invading, they will start making their way towards a specific location, uh, which is also just something to keep in mind. It does look like we've got most of them. I'm sure we've missed some. I just want to make sure, is there any turrets here? That's something else you need to look out for. So this we need to capture using virus modules, but, um, or virus bots rather. You just want to make sure they don't have a turret there because those can be pretty devastating for your ground units as well. Okay, I think we've done enough. Let's see how we're coming along. We're making our way towards the island. Um, yeah, so this is useful because I can see where the shallow water starts and once it starts showing up on this depth sonar um, That is when you probably want to start slowing down The one question a lot of players ask is can you play this solo and you know from the bit that I've played so far I think yeah, you probably can I'm sure it's you know more fun with a buddy and That should make things a little bit frantic uh, less frantic when it, when it uh, gets to that point, but Generally, if you don't get too close to boats that can fire torpedoes at you or just getting too close to really well-defended islands, it isn't actually that frantic. The game is fairly slow-paced, not to the extent that it's... I mean, you can see with the, the trip we've made over to this island, there was plenty to do along the way, um, but not so much that it was overwhelming. Of course, it, it will get worse as we as we continue, um, or at least as we take on more challenging islands. I just want to get into the shallow water here and then we'll start our assaults on this island. Now the idea that I have for this series, if, if there's interest and if I continue, is that this is sort of going to be Iron Man, so I'm not going to be reloading saves or anything like that. If I get taken out, that's going to be the end of the series. Um, if we make it all the way through to the end, that's great too. 
unlikely probably because I'm not experienced enough in this yet that I'm likely to succeed on, on this try, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and if you have played this and you have any tips, I'm sure I'm doing lots of stuff wrong, so feel free to let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, we can actually sort of see the plane off there in the, in the distance, and I think we're getting close enough that... Um, let's see how far we are away, just using this viewing scope. Put this in tracking mode. It's about 3,000 meters. That's more than close enough. I think we can we can park it for now. And so we're just going to go here and maybe just turn in towards the island. Stop the engines. And I mean, there's a couple of things. So we want to enable all of our countermeasures. We don't actually need these for anti-air, but I'm just going to enable it anyway. It doesn't matter. We're not on the move. We can spare some power. Cruise missiles, yes, main gun probably will need that too. Um, but we will start with the cruise missiles. Uh, the thing is about, so I can't manufacture any of these just yet. The thing that I noticed about the main gun is the ammo is actually pretty expensive and it fires five rounds at, at a time. Now it is, I mean, the gun is devastating. It's incredibly effective, but I don't think you're meant to be using it all the time. Definitely not at the start because if you fire that thing twice, I think I worked out that it's basically the same as using... Oh, you can easily spot them now, as I said, because we're using the lights. Uh, it basically costs the same as building a sealed chassis, which is the standard amphibious vehicle. Um, so that is something to think about. Just trying to tag all the ones that I, I missed on the previous flyover. And we're just going to go ahead and fire one of these missiles. So you'll see on the left sort of loading up and it's firing the missile you can see the distance about 2700 meters now the thing about the main gun that's also nice is it, it doesn't have the range that these missiles do but it hits pretty quickly it, it travels fast this takes a while to travel but yeah it can go further and it's a little bit easier to guide that directly onto a target um i haven't i don't think i've checked how much these actually cost so uh, we have plenty to start with, and it's a, it's a good way to do a little bit of cleanup before we send in our units. So this should take out all three of these units, I hope. Yeah, they're all gone. And I'm just going to go ahead and get another one to take out these three. And we'll keep going with this for a little bit until I feel comfortable that there's little enough going on that we can actually just come in. I may get a couple of the helicopters up in the air as well and use some of their missiles to, to do cleanup as well. Uh, these cruise missiles, I only use them if I can take out three units or a minimum of two units at a time. It's not really worth it for me to do that just for one. But yeah, so far so good. Here it comes. Yeah, this should be pretty easy to pick them up. All right. Uh, that's helped things quite a bit. We've got a few more. Let's see, that's two. I don't, they're not close enough together, though. These two I might be, may be able to get in one shot. And same thing for those two. Looks like an easy shot. It's pretty far away, but uh, it should be okay. I've got to say, I, I've been looking at this one for a while and I was really impressed by just how good it is. The the only bad thing that I can really say, so there's a there's a couple of small things that needs to be balanced out in the game, nothing really major. But I think the worst thing right now is probably the tutorial. And it's not so much that the tutorial is bad, it's fine, but it just ends really abruptly. And Oh man, the other two were so close. It would have been great if I could, could have taken them out as well. Here's another one that I didn't tag another one behind him. Uh, maybe I should be taking out those two. There's a lot more. We'll continue this cleanup for a bit. So yeah, as I was saying, it's like, Surreal's fine, but it just ends really abruptly, and the game's got an in-game manual that you can use. That also isn't entirely complete. There are definitely some things that should be explained that isn't, and that players definitely need to know. It is early access, though, so... Most of this stuff should get smoothed over over time. 
Um, I obviously didn't pick this up immediately at the least, so I don't know what other issues there may have been that has gotten fixed over time. I wonder if I position this between these, if it'll reach that other one as well. Kind of don't want to risk missing these two. But it would be really nice if I can get three instead of two here. I think we're... oh, that's in the water, so I, I don't want it to hit in the water. Okay, so we only got two, but that's fine. Uh, how much do we have? Four, five over here. Still a bit more over here. Are those in the water? I'm not sure if these missiles explode on impact. The impact is on the water. It definitely doesn't work that way for the cannon, that's for sure. So, there's quite a lot going on. Um, this is still fine for fuel. I wonder if we should have a look at the gun just to demonstrates how this works. Um, let's see where these are at right now. So, I don't think there's anything that's in it. Oh, these two are in a good spot for the gun. So we'll just go ahead and cycle to the gun and you'll see. So this is pretty devastating if you get, if you manage to land shots on target, which Unfortunately, some of those fell in the water, but the one shell that did explode did take out that other vehicle. Um, this is this is a pretty wasteful thing to do, what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fire more of these. Let's have a look at what we've got going on in terms of the helicopters. Um, so these have missiles on them. I don't know if it's particularly useful to have countermeasures on them, but... Is this going to take time? Yeah, if this is going to waste time, maybe I shouldn't do this right now. Uh, but... And I also don't know if the AI, when they're controlling these vehicles, if they're good at dropping countermeasures, or if that's something that you have to do yourself. It, it would be a bit silly if you have to, because especially if you're playing solo, that's just not particularly viable. Um, but let's give this some orders and... Ask it to... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. There's going to be a sitting duck over there. Uh, well, well, we'll give it a different order as soon as it gets up into the air. I thought I could give it an attack order directly. It turns out I can't do that. So, yeah, we'll get these up. Um, do we have any extra chassis that we could just load up here because it would be nice to have even more helicopters um, and then we could get some of these other ones into the water as well so this one has the virus bots I don't want to send that out until I've done a proper cleanup of the island but these three S2, 3 and 4 you can probably get them out into the water we good so we'll start with S2 do S3 as well and there's four. Let's put them in the middle over there. Just sort of move them out. Um, I think there's maybe still a, a bit too much going on here. Okay, so this is the first one. It doesn't actually have to go all the way over there. What I do want it to do is to fire some missiles at these. He doesn't have to destroy them. Uh, and I don't think one missile is going to do the trick. But uh, it's going to soften these targets up for when we send in our other units. And also, I think on all of these weapons you get... Oh, that actually did the trick. It's gone. On all of these weapons you get splash damage as well, which is useful. Um, because if there's anything close by, it'll damage both of them. Um, okay, so that didn't destroy it, but at least it did some damage. Uh, should we get this one to attack the other one? There seems to be something else here. I don't know if that's going to be close enough to do damage to the other vehicle as well, but we'll see. This one can come back. Something else that you've got to keep in mind when it comes to these planes is that they um, they take quite a long time to do takeoff and landing, especially the landings, uh, because they sort of got to line up and everything. So you can't just constantly send those in and out of rotation. It does take a while. And this is one of the reasons why I think the game is quite playable solo, because... Um, because it does take some time to do certain things. So you do get a bit of a breather between combat encounters, at least. Uh, I can see these seals, these amphibious vehicles making their way out. Uh, there's one of the 
missile slamming. That looks amazing at night. Um, right, let's just have another look over here. Okay, so this one has at least part of its... It's taken something out. Is this the other one? So that doesn't seem to have any damage at all. And there's a lot of units down here. Maybe it should just fire something into these units. Again, if, if you have any suggestions in terms of what the most efficient way is of approaching islands, I'm trying to go for a combined approach of using some air units, using some of the carriers' uh, weapons on it, and then sending in the seals as well. Um, we'll see how this does. These are close enough together, this could be good. Okay, it's starting to fire on our units. I see one of these units is actually returning fire. Um, I think usually it's okay if it's not a dedicated anti-air unit, um, but we'll send this back because it needs to rearm anyway. And yeah, I think we've caused enough damage here that these three seals should be fine um, to start approaching the island now. So they can sort of go directly and meet up at more or less the same location here. This is going to take a little while. Uh, but while that's happening, we should probably get out the this one as well, just to come and back them up. Well, not really back them up, just be prepared to release the virus bots. Um, when this is done, I want... Okay, this one is still awaiting its new loadout. I do want to send out the other helicopter as well. Is this barge? It is... No, this is the wrong unit. Um, or it's not the wrong unit, but it's the wrong place that I'm looking at. I want to look at this in the logistics screen. I just want to see if it started unloading. It's busy doing that now. Oh, it's just finished. Let me just see where it is so, so that we can get a look at it. So there it is. That's the barge. So it's literally just finished unloading all the new stuff. We're going to send it back because I'm assuming there's still some stuff that it hasn't picked up. So if you look at the screen, everything up here is in storage. This is pending orders and this is in transit. So we can see we still have some pending orders here, stuff that didn't have enough space to pick up. So I'm going to send it back for that. Uh, again, we'll just do waypoints, let it go over here, and then back to the carrier again. I think the reason why you have to put the, the orders is so that it knows, well, first of all, what to pick up and, and what to wait for. So, um, yeah, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to take us some time to move some of the most important stuff from the warehouse to the carrier. Uh, did it bring the chassis that we wanted? Well, actually, you can just have a look at this delivery log and this will tell you everything that's just been delivered. So we've got the IR missiles, those are useful. Yes, and we also have a couple of extra chassis. Those are very important as well. So we are gonna go ahead and we've already occupied these slots. So for five, we will put in a seal chassis, just mount another cannon on this. And we'll do the same thing for six. So if we need to use these, it's going to take a little while for them to prepare. Um, so basically it's now being outfitted. So you can see that uh, it's sort of the chassis is being armored up, um, it's being refueled, and it's also being loaded with ammunition for the gun that we fitted to it. Um, what do we have over here? I don't think I need more planes because I don't use them that often, but I definitely want more of these razor balls. They're super useful. So... And then we want, we don't want bombs, want the IR missiles. I'm definitely, let me see, what else can you fit to this? Just in the fuel tank. I don't think you can fit, oh, you can actually fit an auto cannon, but that would be suicide for a vehicle like this, because you're basically sort of just hovering in the same spot on the least armored vehicle in the game, which, uh, doesn't seem like a good idea. I haven't really tried it, but it just doesn't seem like that would end well. Um, now again, I wonder if we should put some countermeasures in these as well. I don't know if it automatically 
use it. If somebody's watching this and you know in the comments, if the AI automatically deploys these, that, that'll be useful to know, just in case we encounter some anti-air vehicles of some kind. Um, it, I think these are ready to be sent out again, so let's get them back up in the air. Because they have been rearmed. Um, so this one, I want to send him over there, and we'll send this one over here. Uh, okay, and we have a lot of these on this side. So still, I think I want to... I have enough time to get these up in the air that there won't be an encounter with the ground units before. Uh, but I want these to... What's the best route? Is there a way for them to come at it from this angle? That's probably better. Um, because that means... I really don't know which way I want to do this. Because either way, these units are going to come and try and stop us from taking this over. But it is probably better to come from the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for this route. And same for this unit. Uh, I need to look at... Does this need fuel? It's on 37%. Can still go for a little bit, but soon we're going to have to pull it in. Um, and then this razor bill will have to do a bit of an attack over, over on one of these units. This is just one unit by itself, but we're definitely going to take this out. Whatever this is, it's fine. We've got three against one here, so it should be okay. And I do actually want to keep this albatross up just to... Well, actually, no. You know what? We can bring this back in because I'm going to forget and it's going to plummet into the water at some point. And I'll just keep this razor bill out here to keep eyes on the island. I just hope... Okay, we've got the other one up as well. I just That's just what I was waiting for. Perfect. Okay. Although, I, we definitely have better visibility. Um, maybe I need this up a little bit higher. I don't know how high this goes, but we'll just get it up to like a thousand or something. Might give me a better view. And then we'll get this guy to attack this one. Like I said, I probably don't really need to because it's operating on its own right now, but um, these are all damaged already. Is there any, any one of them that hasn't been damaged? No, they're all damaged. So it should be relatively quick to take care of them if they do manage to catch up with these units. So we'll send one over there and try to take out one of these still. I guess I think these units have realized that we're moving on this side of the island. That's why they're all making their way back. Here we go. All right, so we can send this one back as well. The other one I'll, I'll keep up here just for reconnaissance purposes. Let's see if we have these new ones. Yeah, they're all, all done, all armored up. Seems. Just double check. I think if all of these lines are full, that's what it means. Yeah, it does. So... I don't think there's anything else we're meant to be doing right now. It's just uh, just waiting for these guys to get to where they need to be. Um, still, we don't have perfect visibility here. Maybe we can send this in a little bit closer again and get it up even higher. to see what the view is from here. I don't know if you can mount other external cameras to these as well, like one of the gimbal that you can rotate. Probably not. Yeah, so once these guys make their way up here, I'm going to need them to get past this building and actually start engaging these other units. You also get money for all of the units that you take out. There's like a salvage fee that you get. Let's see if we've... So on this screen, you can see vehicle salvage income, island controls uh, income that we've gotten. And you can see recent transactions as well. So it's pretty, pretty cool to explain where you're getting your money from. 
Um, also, on this screen, you can sort of see a record of everything that's been destroyed. If anything significant happens, like one of your vehicles gets destroyed, uh, that'll highlight in red. So... These are still slowly... So the SEALs, there are three... I think there are three amphibious vehicles in the game right now. These are the fastest in the water, I think. It's possible that there are other units that are faster on land, or maybe a little bit faster, but these are fastest on water, but that's still not to say that they're fast. I mean, it does take a little while to get places. Um, oh, we have a helicopter coming in. Let's have a look. There it is. So once this one has made its way down into the storage area, we we can maybe get two other ones out to support the ground units. And I'll put in that order right now. So get these ones out. So what I'll probably do for this series is I'll do one island per episode, something like that. If you if you want me to sort of cut anything out in between, like I, I'll probably do that because I think there's going to be a lot of downtime eventually of traveling between islands and so on. So what I can just do is I can just edit anything out that isn't particularly action packed um, instead of just recording everything uh, because this, like I said, there will definitely be some moments of, of downtime. Okay, so we're getting close to these units now. Uh, I want to wait for all of them to get here, and then I'm going to move them around the building. Um, you may want to see what he's seeing. Let's just have a look. Uh, if I can take control here. Okay, so that's the building. Doesn't look like they've got eyes on us just yet. So this is a, a good spot to be. I kind of like the snow. You, you get different different weather on different islands. Uh, some are some even have some big lava on them, uh, but that's pretty cool. The other thing that I mean, I'll, I'll probably put out a review on this at some point. But I've got to say, like, I'm not sure about the price of this game. Like, it's it's worth it for me for sure because I really like these kinds of games, and I'll I'll get quite a bit of time out of it. And, I mean, it's good fun, but um, I do think it's definitely on the higher end for these types of games. Uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff that costs less than this, so if you're not sure, you may want to pick it up on a sale instead. Uh, like, if you can get it for 30% off or something like that, I think it's it's probably worth it at that price point for most people. I know this is subjective, but it's just a thought. So all of these units are making its way, I don't know if it's making its way towards this helicopter, which uh, still got about 50% of its fuel. This is a really cool diversion, now that I think about it. But I do want to take these units out, because I'm going to get some credits for them. The question is, does the amount of credits that you get for this outweigh the cost of missiles, which I'm not sure how much they cost. That would be interesting to know. Um, Let's just check something over here on the recent transactions. We, how do I get into the other pages here? I don't know. Well, if we've already gotten 600, we've got 150 over here, and that was probably one vehicle. Could it be? I don't know how much you get per vehicle. That's the brightness. How do I get to? Oh, I've just. Moved on to page two. This is how I do it, okay. So, enemy seal destroyed 50. Yeah, I'm sure a missile wouldn't cost 50, so it's probably worth it to spend your missiles to, to blow these up just for the money. Um, just fire us fire some more here. Oh, we can, we can get started over here. So, I don't know if there's a way to order this thing. To deploy these but I don't know how to do that so I'm just gonna do it manually I also don't know just how close you need to be to this building but since this is the only 
vehicle that I have, it's got virus bots on it, and it takes such a long time to get here. Definitely not going to take any risks. We're just going to move in really close to this, like over here. Switch this to manual, deploy, and we're all set. So this is going to start hacking this tower now. We'll see it on the, on the ground over here. And then we can recall all of these units, basically. They can start making their way back. Now, if I wanted to be a little bit faster about this, I should have probably... Oh, it's actually going to make its way... Uh, it's going to make its way back on the more dangerous side, I guess. Send this one back. Um, what I wanted to say is that... Uh, I don't know if it's the best idea for them to go around this way, and because that's where the enemies are, but there's not a whole lot of them. I could easily take care of them with the anti-air units as well. So, here we go. Is that the last one? Might be. Let's get all of these back. Now, I do want to, I do want to move in a little bit closer here, uh, but I don't want to do it while... Are we moving? Oh, okay, let's just disable all the weapons. That's sapping a lot of power. So I just use the breaker because then I don't have to flip all of these switches every time. Um, where are we? Did we go off course here? Oh no, yeah, I'm a little bit off course. I need to I need to turn in towards the island. Just want to get a little bit closer and reduce the distance that the seals have to travel. I just really... Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to be doing this now. I just realized this helicopter is, like, right here. And usually... This is not good. That looks like a crash. So, so this is the problem. Usually, if you are on the move, while you have something coming in for a landing, that results in a crash. But I think that may be the one that's supposed to be landing here. Yeah, it seems to be okay. I do like these games that use sort of... I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if this would be low poly art, but I think it's kind of low poly art. And it's... It's good for so many reasons. First of all, I just really like the look of it. You still get really nice scenery this way. Um, but it's actually usually also great for performance. And it means that you can just create much bigger worlds without performance becoming an issue. Um, I, I'm a big fan of low poly arts. I think that developers should do more of it. And I mean, it, it is sort of one of those trends that has been on the rise for some time. Um, but... Uh, I'm not one of those people that, that needs perfect visual fidelity to be happy with games. And, you know, I think there's a there's a fundamental difference, or at least, you know, high visual fidelity and something looking great isn't necessarily the same thing. Um, you can have games that have less pixels in them, or you know, like this with the low poly art style, and uh, it still, still looks pretty good. There's a lot of other examples as well. Um, of, of good low poly games that's been released. How close are we here? So I'm not seeing any issues showing up here just yet, but we should we should be getting yeah okay. So we want to stop as soon as we see that because if we hit that, we will beach this on uh, on land, and uh, we definitely don't want to be doing that. I don't know if there's any way to get out of that. Um, oh right, so we've captured the island. That's good. Uh, so this should show us now what we've unlocked. We've unlocked the ability to build the walrus chassis. And if we want to create more seals, what we can do now, so if we sort of zoom in here on logistics, um, yeah, we, so we can build both of these. So we can put in an order for two of these. They're like 500 each. We have a little bit of money. Um, having these light scout vehicles and it's definitely so it's it's going to refit this facility and it's going to start producing these um and as soon as it's done i'll already put in the order here so if we just scroll down again to these 
put in the order for the transports as well and yeah in a little bit we'll just get the barge to go and pick those up for us i think the barge is currently out to pick up more stuff from the warehouse so it'll have to come back we can get another barge uh so you can look here like all the other so if we take over that island or this one or that one you can get another barge but i think one should do for now next up i may want to go for some small munitions uh Let's see how well defended that island is. So we are over here, so it's not the one to the north, it's just a little bit off to the northwest, which is over there. Now that's two shields, we can do that. Um, it'll be a little bit tougher than the one we just took out. But I do think small munitions is quite important, and that is sort of the next thing that I want to go for. So if I go for that, then make my way back, get the large munitions, get the fuel, and then we can decide whatever we want from there. I think that should be a pretty good run. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you can see, like, this is shown up in green because this is important, like, uh, the island that we've captured, and then we have the blueprints unlocked. Nothing red yet. We haven't lost any units. That's obviously good. Uh, let's just go ahead and recall. So these guys are all coming back. Uh, this razor bowl needs to land. It's starting to get low on fuel and this one we may as well it's got nothing else there for it to do uh seems we have taken care of all of the units here so this island is successfully captured so i i think i'll probably go ahead and end this episode here i'll just get everything back to the carrier and we'll start the episode oh, we've got the, the nice sunsets over there i or is that a sunrise either way i do love a good sunset or a sunrise uh, but yeah, we'll end this one here. Um, if Let me know in the comments if you want to see more in this series. If you'd like me to edit out some of the boring bits in, in between, I can do that too. Um, and we'll see how far we go with this one. But as always, thanks for watching. If you do like this content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next video.